Hey guys, it's Yuta. So, according to my anime list, Comic Con Communicate is the most popular anime of this season. But with Japanese anime fans, it's actually not popular. I checked several anime websites in Japanese, but it's usually not even among top 5 anime of this season. So we're gonna see some of the Japanese reviews. First, a lot of people didn't like how the characters look. The character design of the main character is too unique and it's hard for me to accept. Another one says, This anime has the kind of story I would enjoy, so I was planning to watch it. But from the very beginning, I was distracted by the thing that's on Tadano's head that looks like a starfish on an autumn leaf. And interestingly, the visual quality of this anime overall is pretty good. The character design is flat and strange even though the backgrounds are really beautiful. I wonder if the original creator's drawings aren't very good. I actually found a lot of reviews that praised the visual quality. If only the character designs were better, this would have been a heartwarming moe anime. It's too bad because the animation art is very good. And in fact, a lot of people would go so far as to say that the manga doesn't really deserve such good animation. Komi-san is too blessed with animation. I don't know any romantic comedy that has such good animation artwork. Another one says, Why did they put so much effort into a manga like this? And this review is pretty funny. Original story, C. Character design, E. Anime Studio Lottery, A+. I think the anime studio did a good job. And because of that, many people actually liked the first episode. But then they were disappointed. The chalkboard scene in the second half of the first episode seemed interesting because of how it progressed quietly. Unfortunately, apart from that, Many scenes are noticeably sloppy. I remember the chalkboard scene, it was pretty good. I thought that it might become an anime that I look forward to. But in episode 2, I realized it wasn't what I expected. Once I found out it was a comedy anime, I was quite disappointed. And it is a light-hearted comedy-ish anime, but many Japanese people don't think it's funny or fun. There was absolutely no good sense of humor. The energy, jokes, and the character design are all extremely dated. Also, the main character's thoughts are just creepy. And it's not just the main character. A lot of people didn't like Komi. I can't really emphasize with Komi-san because she's beautiful. Even though she's not good at communicating, she's still winning at life just because she's beautiful. Well, if she wasn't beautiful, the anime would have been very different. But to be fair, this applies to a lot of anime. But many people don't quite find the character that beautiful. I only knew what the heroine looked like, but I was surprised that she was supposed to be a beautiful character. But the most unpopular character is actually Tadano, the main character. And I can totally understand. It really doesn't make sense that Tadano has a good voice. Some people think his voice isn't supposed to be so good. The main character's selling point is supposed to be how unremarkable he is. But he behaves like a handsome guy and it gets boring. What he does is actually not very average or normal. He can totally understand Komi while other people can't. That's not what average means. Hitohito acts like a virtuous man, but I can't help but feel he has ulterior motives. Like he gives off the vibe that he wants something more from Komi, despite how he says nice things. I don't like Tadano. I especially don't like how he speaks overly politely with Komi-san even though they are just classmates. He acts meek and self-deprecating but not in a good way. But his overly polite language doesn't really translate into English. So if you want to really understand how the characters communicate, you need to understand Japanese. And if you want to learn Japanese with me, I will teach you the kind of Japanese the real life Japanese people today actually speak. So click the link in the description and subscribe. And speaking of Japanese, a lot of people have problems with the word komisho. 
because the Japanese title is Komi-san wa komisho desu. But the anime doesn't quite use the word komisho the way we do. It's not komisho at all. You wouldn't be able to open your heart so easily to someone of the opposite sex you just met. In the anime, it's actually written like this, when we usually write it like this. Some people say that these terms are technically different, but it's not really a medical term, so there's no clear definition. And we use it very casually. For example, if you're not very good at making friends, or if you're not good at expressing yourself and be understood, you might say you have komisho. But komi's case will be something else. This person says, That's not komisho, it's selective mutism. And selective mutism makes more sense. She just can't speak in many situations, but she can actually communicate pretty decently if she writes. So there's something inauthentic about the way they use the term. But it wouldn't be fair if I only shared negative reviews, because there are positive reviews. The first episode finished exactly like a movie would. It's been a long time since I felt dissatisfied after watching an anime. But I actually found a lot of positive reviews on Twitter. I'm watching Komi can't communicate and it's good. Komi-san is cute. So I think maybe people who watch anime more critically didn't like Komi-san, but maybe casual viewers appreciate it more. And one of the reasons why it's not very popular is that Netflix is the only streaming site that has Komi-san. Otherwise, you have to watch it on TV. It's just not good enough to make people sign up for Netflix. And if you watch it on Netflix, their subtitles aren't really the best. So if you want to understand the anime really well, you need to understand Japanese. And if you want to learn Japanese with me, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak, which can be different from the kind of Japanese that textbooks and apps teach you because they can be unnatural and outdated. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta. All right, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.